You may be aware that Dr. Peter Hoynowski, who is an American philosopher in Idaho, has founded the organization Sister Lucy Truth with the goal of determining with certitude whether or not the woman the Vatican has paraded around as Sister Lucy of Fatima since 1959 is in fact that Sister Lucy to whom Our Lady appeared at Fatima in 1917 together with uh, the other two children. The question is quite relevant when you look at photos of the woman known to be Sister Lucy all the way up into the 1940s and then contrast those images with pictures of Sister Lucy in the 1960s and later. On the face of it, they just don't look like the same woman. But of course, that's not evidence, that's just a suspicion. So what Hoynowski did is he wanted to put the matter to rest one way or another and so he raised funds and commissioned numerous scientists and other professionals to analyze and examine whatever data is available. And so now we have facial analysis, dental analysis, handwriting analysis, forensic art, uh, professional opinions from plastic surgeons, and so on. All of the evidence that has been collected so far with the official scientific reports and professional assessments, all of that has been posted at a website at sisterlucyimposter.org. And that's sister spelled out and imposter with an ER ending, sisterlucyimposter.org. So far, the verdicts of all the reports have been unanimous. The two women in question are not the same person. In other words, the woman known as Sister Lucy of Fatima, seen in photographs since the 1960s, is not, in fact, Sister Lucy of Fatima. That, at least, is what the evidence says that has been gathered so far. And if anyone has evidence to the contrary, that's fine too. Then contact Sister Lucy Truth and submit that evidence. The idea isn't to promote one particular theory, but to settle the question using the best technology available today. So we want to go by evidence, not by speculation, not by hypotheses, theories, or whatever. Now, the repercussions of this are tremendous. It means that anything purportedly coming from Sister Lucy after basically Pope Pius XII probably didn't come from her, or at least it's highly doubtful that it did. Certainly, the woman who appeared in public as Sister Lucy was not her, but an imposter, according to the evidence collected. What happened to the real Sister Lucy? Well, that's a question that will be investigated separately. Interestingly enough, and tragically enough, none of the well-known Recognize and Resist organizations have shown any interest whatsoever in this investigation or the results. And here I mean the Fatima Center, the Remnant, Catholic Family News, the Society of St. Pius X, and so forth. Apparently they don't care. And yet this is an issue that has nothing to do with state of Vacantism or theology at all. It's only about whether or not the Vatican used a woman to impersonate Sister Lucy. And surely that is kind of a big deal, wouldn't you say? Well, on May 14th of this year, Hynowski posted on his Rad Trat Thomist blog that the term diabolical disorientation now has to be discarded because it actually came not from the real Sister Lucy, but from the imposter. That, of course, is very unwelcome news for the organizations I just named since they've basically built a whole theology, a theology of resistance on that foundation of diabolical disorientation, a term introduced by the supposed Sister Lucy in the 1960s. Diabolical disorientation is what they always bring up when their theology runs into contradiction with the traditional doctrine. So, for example, they can say that the ideas put forth by an ecumenical council are junk because diabolical disorientation. They can say that the saints canonized by a true pope may in fact not be saints at all because diabolical disorientation. They can say that the new mass of Paul VI is a defective rite of mass, perhaps even invalid because diabolical disorientation. And they can say that the pope and with him the entire church can adhere to a new and false religion because you guessed it. Diabolical disorientation. Yeah, come to think of it, maybe I understand now why they'd rather not bother with that Sister Lucy imposter thing.
so far, the verdicts of all the reports have been unanimous. The two women in question are not the same person. <laughs>